In this lesson, we're going to introduce PowerShell, which will be delved into in a lot more detail in future lessons. Like the rest of this first module, PowerShell is a key principle for Windows Server 2012 management. Server Core is our preferred platform, giving us a reduced maintenance and reboot footprint. Server Manager is the best way to manage multiple servers remotely using a graphical interface. But if you're thinking large scale automation, managing hundreds, if not thousands of servers, any kind of graphical interface is really not the best option. PowerShell enables both a command line interface and a scripting language to really manage any aspect of Windows Server. Additionally, most Microsoft applications, third-party applications, and even hardware manufacturers such as network and storage OEMs now provide PowerShell modules, which are essentially groups of commands to perform a certain function. This means PowerShell can now be the central command line interface and scripting method you'll use in your organization for all types of automation and command line management. Windows Server 2012 features over 2,400 different commandlets. A commandlet is a command, which enables every single aspect of Windows Server 2012 to be managed through PowerShell. Anything you can do through a command line interface, you can do through PowerShell. And while we're going to dive into this a lot deeper, one of the key principles is least cognitive distance. And what this means is the commands have been restructured. They're structured as a verb dash noun, which means the action and then the object you wish to perform an action on. And this is shown in the Microsoft Help. It stresses the various verbs that are available and lists all of the major verbs that are supported. And then the nouns are a type of object. For example, if I know the object I wish to work on is a VHD, i.e. the noun, I can say, show me all the commands that work on the noun VHD. And you can see I can convert, dismount. So it's very, very easy to find the various commands for the object I would like to perform. Additionally, we have a new integrated scripting environment. And this is the same PowerShell language behind the scenes, but this features enhanced capabilities such as IntelliSense so it knows the commands as I'm typing, and many other types of capabilities, particularly around creating scripts for use in your environment. The key principle of PowerShell is that rather than focusing on one machine at a time, I can run commands across many, many machines. A quick example of this, imagine I want to get my event log, and I want to look at my security and show me the newest 10. Notice it's giving me the options as I type the command. So these are the 10 newest security messages. I can take that same command and with the invoke command, commandlet, I can pass it this block of code to this script block. And I can actually say run this script block on a number of machines. So run it on my local host. I can run it on my domain controller, another domain controller, and another server. This is now running that command on all four of those different hosts I specified. Imagine this could be adding features. This could be deleting files. This could be getting process information. Anything you can think of, I can now automate very, very easily with PowerShell. And this is why PowerShell really is a key component for any kind of administrative or management option on your Windows servers. And it's something that you're really going to focus on instead of using the old command prompt. PowerShell is definitely the future of where the management is going. And we're going to dive into this in a lot more detail over future modules. This concludes the lesson on the PowerShell introduction.